Thank you very much, Ian, and it is a true honor to be here. We hold up total archives as Canada's archival creation myth, and we long for an archival system that is comprehensive and whole, and we have worked hard to try to get there. But total archives and the archival system are strategies, not goals, and they have become untenable strategies, attempts to achieve custodial controlled totality in an age where records are dispersed and unregulated. In the digital world, archival institutions will not be the sole custodians of our documentary memory. Records creators will not necessarily preserve their records in one place. The multitude of digital objects that make up <clears throat> what some might call a phone, I don't, may exist separately, intersecting in complex intellectual relationships based on multiple provenances and on orders that are truly original that is innovative, not primary. To achieve success in this inconstant environment, we need a new strategy, which starts with a vision and a mission. My vision is of an enlightened, civilized society that is democratic, respectful, and self-aware. The archival mission is to help society gain open, unfettered access to documentary evidence, fostering transparency, supporting democracy, and cultivating awareness. In short, records support accountability, identity, and memory. To achieve this mission in the digital age, archivists must manage records for risk, discriminating between records with high enduring public accountability and value, those with high time-limited accountability but continuing value, and those with lower accountability but lasting value. Two goals underpin this risk-based approach. The first is for archivists to play a much greater role in institutional record keeping, helping agencies protect high accountability, high value records. The second is for archivists to welcome custodial and non-custodial preservation strategies especially to protect records outside of traditional systems. These goals require that archivists reconceive core archival functions, particularly preservation, description, and access, and that they engage much more vigorously in public awareness raising. To support preservation, government archivists need to be redefined as records commissioners with more record-keeping power. Access, privacy, and records laws need to be revised or devised to, make agent, to require agencies to make quality records in the first place and then to keep them appropriately. Thank you, Ann Kavukian. Record keeping standards need to be applied rigorously and consistently. Collaborative preservation strategies need to supplement custodial models. Client-based advisory services, similar to those of lawyers and accountants, will help corporations, individuals, and communities protect their records more effectively. To support access, archivists need to redefine the idea of archives as place, recognizing that virtual access can be anywhere, anytime. Descriptive practices need to escape their resolutely custodial orientation. Third-party collaboration needs to be encouraged as a vehicle for enhancing access and use. To support awareness raising, archivists need to promote records, not institutions, capitalizing on teachable moments to spread the message that records support accountability, identity, and memory. To achieve these changes, the Canadian archival community has to leap out of the box of status quo archival thinking. National, provincial, and territorial archivists need to become the first ministers of record keeping, providing leadership and promoting best practice. Records educators need to instill an appreciation for the broad suite of information management duties while encouraging the development of discrete specialties. Records creators, particularly those in high-risk agencies, 
need to accept the financial reality of trustworthy record keeping, enforced with the carrot of appropriate tax incentives and the stick of penalties for non-compliance. Records custodians need to seek new funding opportunities, welcoming public-private partnerships and market-driven initiatives. Canada's National Archival Association needs to be the leader for the archives, records and archives profession, representing individuals, promoting institutions, and advocating widely for improved records care. Its efforts will be enhanced by a stakeholder-driven, public-facing association that works to promote the value of records across society. To engage more closely with stakeholders and the public, archivists need to abandon the dueling dichotomies of life cycle versus continuum, records versus archives, creator versus custodian, us versus them. A successful team-based approach demands collaboration among record specialists, records creators and users, software developers, privacy experts, and others. A strategy is a means, not an end. As total archives had to evolve, as the archival system has to change, this strategy must adjust with time. But the digital black hole looms large. If archivists maintain the custodial status quo, the profession, and more importantly, the records, will surely be sucked in and torn apart. I agree with Arthur Dowdy that archives are society's most precious national asset. I do not agree that they are the gift of one generation to another. Sorry. It is our duty to care for records for today, not just for our descendants. Responsible record stewardship aids in the creation of a society that supports accountability, values its identity, and cherishes its memory. Protecting records in order to help sustain that self-aware, enlightened, and respectful society is the true gift of one generation to another. Thank you.